Good morning, morning Africa. Africa. My name is Bog Daddy. And my name is Kyle. Today is May 9th, 2023. Please rise for a moment of silence and a pledge to the flag. Give me that. Attention everyone, the class of 2026 is selling EHS bracelets this year. They are a great way to remember your time at EHS, and they are only $10. That includes the gold EHS stamp charm and new color combination. There are a limited number of bracelets, so stop by room 233 at any time to make sure that you get one. Proceeds benefit the class of 2026 to offset future class activities. Attention current sophomores and class of 2025. Voting for next year's school junior class officers will be approaching... If you would like to run, you need to pick up a petition from Mrs. Petrie's room 200 between now and May 12th. Petitions are due back Friday, May 12th by 3 p.m. Voting will take place via Schoology May 15th for May 18th. A summer school information is available now. If needed, be sure to check out sure, check this out on the EHS counseling website. If you fail a class and need to retake it, this summer is the time to do so. If you have any questions, schedule an appointment with a counselor with the QR codes printed in each classroom. Now over the Desi with the news. Um What you got there? It's a smoothie. I think she meant the gigantic bird. Today, National Teachers Day is observed on the first Tuesday of the first full week of May, which is today. And we're more than ready to show our appreciation to those who have taught us. Everyone has had the favorite teacher that has helped inspire them. This day meant to honor them was actually made by a teacher, none other than First Lady Eleanor Roosevelt herself. Eleanor Roosevelt was more than Franklin D. Roosevelt's wife. She was a history of civic duty and was an advocate for fellow teachers. Now back to the main desk. Oh. I All right. So, this year's Powder Puff game is tomorrow, Wednesday, May 10th, at the War Memorial Field. Kickoff is at 7 p.m. Junior versus senior. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> and, oh, man, like the likes have never been seen before. Bring a friend, bring your family, make it a first date any way you want to slice it. Come on out on Wednesday, May 10th to watch your junior and senior girls duke it out with pride on the line. <laughs> will the seniors leave undefeated? <laughs> Or will the juniors rise up and give the seniors that final farewell? Come on out Wednesday, May 10th, and find out. Therapy Dogs will be coming to the library again on Wednesday, May 10th. Come meet Petey or Karina, Augie, or and Annabelle. Spots are, <laughs> spots are available during period 5C, 6, 7, and Act 4. You must be in good standing with your period 4 teacher to attend during Act. Stop by the media center to reserve your spot. <sighs> Paper recycling will happen today during period three ag. Please sign up on the Skooloogie if you, or yeah, please sign up for your spot on Skooloogie if you have not done so already. You do not need to see Mrs. Deeds for a pass as she will be sending out the sign up list to the staff ahead of time. Please remember that, please remember your spot that you signed up for. 
If you like vehicles, this is for you. If you have a mother, this is for you. If you like to eat, this is for you. <laughs> if you like hanging out with friends, this is for you. Shit. Mrs. Hall's communication. <laughs> This is Hall's Communication Class. We'll be holding a car show at Vendor Fair to raise money and support a local charity this coming Saturday. The charities include Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation, the FIA Area Social Services, Good Samaritan, the ASPCA, and the Church World Services, which helps Ukrainian refugees. The date is this Saturday, May 13th, from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the Ephraim Community Church on the corner of Clay Road and 322. If you have a car to show, there is a $5 entry fee. The show itself is free to viewers. Come on out to see vehicles of all kinds from cl classic to current. Food, drinks, and products will be available to purchase. This event is rain or shine. Whether you're a motorhead, a car fanatic, love to support local charities, or just need a present to purchase for Mother's Day, grab a friend and get your motors running. Now over to Kira with lunch. Hello, Efforto. Welcome back. I lied to you. Possibly, maybe. I don't know if this is going to air or not. Um, we're going to see. But anyway, for lunch today... Carnitas burrito bowl, grilled chicken patty, Papa John's pizza, crispy chicken wrap, fruit and your parfait with a muffin, or a buffalo chicken salad. <laughs> balls! You know, balls! <laughs> <laughs> There will be a brief meeting after school on Monday, May 12th, for any girl interested in playing high school school basketball. The meeting will be held at 3 p.m. in room 133. Please see Coach Cirillo if you are unable to attend this meeting. There was a lot to cheer for in yesterday's sports. Basketball won 1-0 versus E-Town and clinched the, clinched the second title. Boys Lacrosse won 14 to 13 in overtime. Look Lancaster County Day where Braden Brown had a six goals. Girls Lacrosse lost versus Cacalico and softball won 9 to 6 at E-Town. Yesterday the effort of track and field squads hosted the visiting Cacalico Eagles in section one second finale. Results were Boys, Efforted 92, Cacalico 58, Girls, Efforted 97, Cacalico 53. Individual winners on the boys' side were the 4x800 four, four relay team, Noah Keller, Brandon Bond, Milos uh, Syme, and Noah Wing and Roth. Nick Keller in the 100-meter dash, Caden Landis in the 1,600-meter run, Noah Wing and Roth in the 400-meter dash, Miles Campbell in the 800-meter run, Tristan Hart in the... <coughs> 3,200 meter run, finally, and the 4x400 relay, relay team of Jeremiah Knowles, Noah Keller, Miles Campbell, and Nick Keller today, or Toby <coughs> Barrett in the high, high jump and long jump, Quentin Fouts in the triple jump, Weston Knoll in the shot, put Sam Kraken in the javelin with the new school record throw of 182 feet. That's his own record anyways. Individual winners on the girls' side were the 400 by eight, or 4x800 relay team of Madison Kimmel, Marita Elliott, um, Kari Parsons, and Hannah Miller. Lydia Shuk in the 400, or the 100, 3 and 300 meter hurdles. Gianna Long in the 400 meter hurdles. Madison Kimmel in the 800 meter run. Ella Fouts in the 3,200 meter run, the 4x400 <coughs> relay team of Marie Mer McCracken, Katie Brass, Kate Baker, and Gianna Long, Lily Shuk in the high jump, Courtney Smith in the long and triple jump, Sophia Rivera in the shot put and discus. With these wins, both the girls and boys squad finished the season with a perfect 7-0 to zero record and both Section 2 champions. This is the first time in program history that both squads finished the season with a perfect record. Congratulations to all this weekend and the track and field team will compete in the Lancaster Lebanon League Championship at Hempfield today. Volleyball is home versus Cacalico and softball is at CV. Also, the bottle just popped. Now back to the main desk. Students, we'll go to period 3 for act today. Have a great day, Ephrata. Yep. Bye-bye. Dad? Oh, hi, Vanessa. Dad, what are you doing? Well, I'll be honest.
honest, I don't really understand. But I fell down this hill. Now I got glue on my hands and I got records on my fingers. Records on my fingers. I got 